time for a box opening of Prima Chill's test bench slash wet bench. And probably gonna put it together too and just kind of see what all comes with it. Welcome back to Simple Run. On this episode, we're gonna do a box opening, kind of a run through of the Prima Chill test bench slash wet bench. Um, I've been needing a test bench because as you've seen, I've been building more and more computers and I kind of want to open up the capabilities to uh, run a couple experiments and of course test components out before I start chucking them in a computer. Nothing like that, you know, tense moment when you go to hit the power button and hoping that it, you know, screens up. So let's get this thing open. Alright, so this is not too bad. Apparently this box is the actual box, which is nice when it's sitting on your front step. No one really knows what it is. It's just an unmarked box. Nice foam padding. Sour Patch Kids. These are going to be very helpful. An instruction manual. Nice. A lot of stuff nowadays don't really come with the instruction manuals. What I've noticed is you kind of have to pull it up on your phone or your computer and go through and figure it out that way. So it looks like everything's going to be layered in this box. So this is going to be your main base plate uh, with the white as you see. Um, I'm going to be getting the 011 Mini, which I have the black one and the white one coming. And I think I'm going to do my personal build in the white one. So I wanted to give it to match. I'm also really looking at the Alienware monitors, which are also white, and that would give me a nice uh, white theme overall. So there's a lot of well, layers, I guess. Cardboard in between. Now this will be the back plate, which as you can see will fit a rad here, which I believe was saying would do 480s, but I think maybe it's just a 240. Uh, 280. There we go. You can see the 140s right there. So this mounts on top, and I believe it has a fan bracket that goes on that, so you can have an extra fan for extra cooling to get some air towards your components if you're uh, testing out, you know, stuff that's not liquid cooled. Here are more brackets for more radiators and more fans. So that'll be nice. I didn't go with the complete edition because it had a lot of stuff I don't need. And the nice thing with this, going with Prima Chill setup, is you can order a lot of this stuff too. So they have it all individual on there that you can go through and get more. So if you want that second side radiator so you can fit three radiators on the setup, then you can just order it. Um, got our GPU bracket. Go through another layer. I did get the angled one because, because personally, I think it'll be a lot easier to work on with everything kind of angled towards you. Um, unless you're standing, it might be nicer to have the flat bench. And again, this is one of those things where you can order the side brackets and you can have it flat. So um, if you get the complete edition, it actually comes with both sets, which was. Another reason I didn't get the complete edition because I don't think I'll ever use the flat ones. But if I do decide in the future that I'm going to, I can just order them. Kids are going to love all this foam. Okay. More brackets. So this one, I believe, goes in the middle. And it Looks like you can actually set up hard drives or anything like that extra to go on it as well. Again, we'll go through and do the build and walk through some of the features after it's all put together. I reached the bottom. And you've got these, which look to be your hard drive trays. All right, everything's out of the box.
there you have it. The build is complete. It's actually quite modular. There's a lot of stuff you can still do and still add. Um, you can order another set of this, have another rat on here. Now these can fit 480s, which if you can fit a 480, I'm sure you could do a 560. My only concern with these, and one of the bigger complaints I had with this assembly, were the little screws that you use here are the same length as the ones you're using everywhere else. The difference is, is you've got three sheet metal thicknesses going through there. So it was not only very difficult to place, but you're only in there like a thread or two, so just enough. So if you get too much water weight in there, I'm not sure how that's gonna do. So my recommendation and something uh, Premature should do as well is put longer screws in there. And I'll probably go ahead and order some longer screws as well, just to make sure that there's enough thread engagement to hold that together. Now, the back also allows for radiator placement. Now you can do a 280 on the inside or a 480 on the back. So I'm sure you could do a 420, 360, probably a 560 if you're brave enough. This is a lot sturdier than this, so I'm sure if this can do a 560, that can too. Now, everything they've got specs out up to 480. So nowhere do they say it can do a 560. I'm just, I guess, taking a little bit of a leap of faith. Now, I did not attach the power supply bracket or any of the hard drive brackets. And there's even an optical drive bracket too, so you can test out, you know, CD, DVD, Blu-ray drives. And that's what you see over here on the side for all the brackets for that. Now the power supply will mount below, so that'll be really nice when I go through to do this. You have plenty of slots kind of everywhere to run your wires up through to connect to the motherboard. Which leads me to another kind of a complaint. And it's not a problem, it's just not ideal. Now these standoffs here that thread onto here, they're plastic. So if you don't take the time to thread them correctly, you will just destroy it. And I'd be interested to see how long or, you know, how many times you could take them off and put them on. Now they did add extras, so that was nice. And all of the screws and everything are in bags and they're, they're labeled really well. So there's no question, you know, what goes where. But plastic hardware, it's iffy. Now, there are extras as well, so if you wear out a couple, that's fine. You know, you can just replace them. And as you know, for the most part, you could probably keep all of these on there. Um, I think the micro ATX is your only exception where you're gonna probably have to take off a couple, and maybe on the mini ATX, just because they don't start to switch up which holes you use. Um, I think that about covers it. Oh yeah, another thing. There are power and reset switches on the side. Um, so that'll be really nice as well. Then you're not doing anything on the motherboard itself. I look forward to doing some tests and really, you know, actually using this thing. Um, you do have extra gaskets. So they're using gaskets to protect the paint. Um, one thing, it, was, it did slide, you can tell the adhesive slid. Um, another thing for pretty much, I'll probably wait to put those on, just because, you know, it. now you've got the gunk of the adhesive all over it, and that looks just as bad as scratching up the paint. Now the one difference is, of course, you could take that off and clean it up, and it's probably really not gonna matter in the long run. But, just, you know, nitpicking, because that's what we do. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. Uh, plan on doing some radiator tests on this before I ram everything into the 011 Mini. I do have the 011 Mini box opening coming as soon as I get those, which they should be shipping out within the next two weeks. Uh, I did get the white and the black, so I'll be able to, you know, double box open, and I plan on taking everything out of Wayne Tower and 
ramming it into the 011 with hopefully a lot of liquid cooling because I'm very excited about that case. Um, but that's all. Thank you.